good Josh Boy Ross back at again with another video. So AEW all out just ended. I'm literally recording this right after watching the last uh last match between CM Punk and John Moxley. Uh, I'm not going to do this like a traditional my uh, thoughts and opinions video um, only because I was having some difficulties. Um, well, me and Dub was having some technical difficulties trying to stream it on the main page and stuff like that. So it was a lot going on at the time. I was able to catch some of the matches, not all of the matches, but the matches that I did catch for the most part, I definitely was enjoying, but I, I really don't want to talk about that. I think a lot of you guys want to really dive in to what happened at the end. Now, I have some positive things and I'm going to talk about this whole ending segment. And then I have some questionable things that I'm going to talk about with the ending segment as well. So, I didn't get to watch this match, but there was a ladder match and it's basically... A redemption of the Money in the Bank ladder match. But there was a Joker. Surprise entrance. Whatever. The guy comes out there. I didn't see how he won it exactly. But he had a mask on. And a lot of people were speculating. It's probably MJF. No one knew. But you can only speculate. And I guess whenever you climb the briefcase and get the chip. Or whatever. It's like Money in the Bank. You can cash it in for a title opportunity. Whatever. Cool. So I saw the ending of that. But I didn't see the whole actual match itself. So, people speculating is MJF. We got the CM Punk, John Moxley match. Um, the match itself was actually pretty enjoyable. Uh, <laughs> it, it, the crowd would sometimes be 50-50, like on crowd reaction or going for CM Punk and John Moxley. But anytime John Moxley got offense in, you could hear the boos, the chorus of boos. And then, of course, uh, there has to be blood in a John Moxley match. But this time he didn't bleed. It was actually CM Punk bleeding. Uh, he ended up hit, there was a little go, uh, post. He hit, uh, Moxley pushed him in the post and he ended up busted open or whatnot. The match was enjoyable. It was definitely stiff and brutal. Um, there was a few times I'm thinking CM Punk is about to lose again. But the match was enjoyable. Um, and here's where I get into the gripe because I enjoyed this match. I think this match was a great main event. Um, you wasn't sure it was very hard hitting. And to be honest, I want to say John Moxley came off more like a heel in this situation. He was flipping off the crowd and stuff because I mean, the crowd was going for CM Punk, but there was still a good, a decent amount of people cheering for John Moxley. And I really wish this is the match we should have got on dynamite a few weeks ago this is should have been that match i me personally i wasn't as interested as i would have been if it was the first time seeing this match if they would have never had this match if they never would have had the first match in this initially or whatnot if they never had the first match initially and they had this match at all out then I think this would have been serviceable. I probably would have been a little bit more excited, but my excitement dropped once I saw how he lost only for him to win in a few weeks later. So I'm, I'm that part confused me. You had John Moxley beat CM Punk in three minutes on the free television only for like a week later. It's not even a few weeks later. My bad. I'm tripping. It's literally only one week later. Yeah, I'm going to say maybe it was like, yeah, it was about one, one week later. For one week later, or maybe two weeks later, for him to drop the title. So he was only champ for like two weeks. I'm confused on that. That, to me, doesn't make any sense. It does not make any sense. And when I watched it happen, I wasn't even just like, I didn't pop for it because I was like, all right, well, you put the championship back on CM Punk. All right, it was a good match. But where's this going? Then the lights cut out. And then you hear a voicemail. A voicemail recording of Tony Khan talking, basically, to someone. You didn't know who it was, but you could kind of infer. Yeah, he's like, hey, I'm a, we can negotiate. This will be the contract, how much I'm going to pay you. But you got to come to All Out. We'll set it up, but you got to be at All Out. And lo and, lo, lo and behold... 
Screen cuts to a, a CM Punk promo, a old RH CM Punk promo. It cuts back to like gorilla position, and you see the masked figure. You see him. Crowds chanting MJF in Chicago, my dad. Takes off his mask. He's not facing the camera. You can tell who it is. And then you see the infamous MJF scarf. Crowd is going crazy. Once again, this is MJF in Chicago. And they're going crazy for him. He comes out to a chorus of MJF chants in Chicago, my dad. That I, I just I want y'all to understand the significance of that. MJF got a loud ass reaction in Chicago. That says a lot. And he flipped off the crowd and still didn't matter. I want you guys to understand the significance of that. Somebody that is a great heel, fantastic heel, gets booed wherever he goes. He dropped easily one of the best promos we've seen in so long. And from that promo segment months ago, he comes back going against you see his arch nemesis CM Punk they've had some great matches great feuds like well great back and forth you know the crowd's pro CM Punk and to hear that type of reaction from someone that they've booed months ago like <laughs> last like you know what I'm saying they've booed they've booed loudly against at one point when they were feuding to see them cheering him that's a crazy thing and he made a single gesture. He's coming for the title. He's coming for the title. And I'm all for it. I am all for it. And a lot of people have been saying this. MJF has to be the champion this year. He has to. He has to. He has to be the champion. He has to, at some point, before this year is up, be the AEW world champion. It only makes sense. And here's another thing about that whole situation. How do you book this now? Because CM Punk is still a face. But MJF, even though he's still probably a heel, he is so over right now. People are going to cheer him because they're going to want to listen to what he has to say. Yes, he could heal it up. But it's not going to work the same. Bro. I'm telling you this now. It's not going to work the same only because CM Punk is, is he's, he's not going to be as over as an MJF trying to win a world championship. You don't bring back MJF to have him lose. I'm just sorry. At CM Punk, that's cool. You're the champ now, but we all know. They're putting the championship on him. It only makes sense. So how do you do this? Do you turn CM Punk heel and maybe have MJF be like a, he's a face, but like, he's like a, a tweener of sort. It's not, you don't really see too many tweeners where they can play as a face or a heel. Do you have him go that route? Because I'm going to tell you this now. It doesn't, him as a heel, people are going to cheer him. People are going to want to cheer him. And CM Punk will probably get booed. He'll, he'll probably end up getting booed because people want to see MJF as a champ. So I don't know. It's an interesting dynamic. And I'm all for them building up a few together, again together. I'm really interested to see what the back and forth between these guys are now. Because things have changed since their last run, you know, feud. And I'm really interested to see what MJF had to say. I'm, I'm probably going to check out Dynamite this Wednesday, bro. I'm going to have to check it out because I want to know what MJF has to say. I think a lot of people are going to check out Dynamite, what MJF is going to say, what he's going to do. But ultimately, when it all like boils down to it, my confusion about this whole thing, for me personally, is what was the point of having John Moxley hold the title for two weeks? What was the point of having CM Punk lose to only have him get the title back? If the goal was to get MJF into the title picture and have CM Punk be the guy that he beat, then why have Moxley win it? Why? 
if anything, all they had to do is just keep building up until you got to all out, have John Moxley dr- lose, and CM Punk become the, the you know, be the undisputed champ. That's it. And then you can have MJF come out and it'd be a big moment. Holy shit. MJF is he's he's here to take on CM Punk. He's gonna he's gonna go out to CM Punk. Which a lot of people predicted. And I'm okay with. It's just this whole roundabout way to get <laughs> CM Punk to drop the the title to only gain the title back. That was that made no fucking sense to me. I'm gonna just be honest with you. I don't I don't know. There gotta be a deeper meaning behind that. So if you guys know, you know what I'm saying, if you guys got an insight to it, comment down below, let me know. But yeah, I really just wanted to talk about this whole segment because to me, that was the segment I really cared about the most. And once I saw MJF, I ain't gonna lie to you, I definitely popped for that. Cause that was just it was cool to see him back. And I am ready to see what he has to say. That's how you know you have a great talent on your hands when he can normally when he normally comes out to a crowd that will boo him out the building only to hear a ruckus crowd of mjf chants i i don't know so comment down below let me know did you guys enjoy this match the main event between john moxley and and uh cm punk did you guys enjoy the show overall let me know how you felt about the show me personally for the matches i was able to see i enjoyed it you know what i'm saying i do think it was too many matches it could have cut down on a few of those matches it was definitely a lot of matches but overall i enjoyed it for the most part the stuff i was able to see and of course how do you guys feel about mjf coming back are you excited that he's back and how do how soon do you think mjf takes the title from CM Punk. But I appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all on the next one. Peace.